Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here, Hobbytown Hobbyplex, and uh, we've got ourselves an unboxing. Um, the Typhon TLR tuned race ready roller. Uh, I want to check it out because after this unboxing, we're going to put some electronics in it and uh, take it for a spin and do another video and uh, see what we can do with it. But for now, we just want to check out the car. Get that out of the way. And get that out of the way. So race ready roller means no electronics. Um, TLR tuned, I think means that it comes with a whole bunch of upgraded parts. And I think I've seen so far quite a few guys out there taking this thing to the track. So just uh, first impression, uh, it's pink. It's pink and purple. <laughs> That's the body. It's pink and purple. I like it. It's uh, it's very Easter. It's very Easter-like. Let's take the body off. Okay. So here we go. So what do we got? We got D boots, uh, tires, and they're kind of that uh, that outdoor off road compound. Here's your big machined shock towers, front and back. Um, that is a that is a metal servo mount. Uh, you've got a machined motor mount. You're going to have your safety uh, drive shaft still, which is really good. Um, your receiver pack there is still a watertight, waterproof receiver pack. Uh, this front brace, that's metal. Then what else is going to be metal in there? So I think that's plastic. No, is that metal? No, it's plastic. Um, okay, so your rear, your rear upper arm uh, mount, metal, and or machined metal, and then you've got your We'll call these your, your A and B blocks up here. So, and then they come with inserts so that you can change, you can change your uh, pills basically so that you can change your uh, kick up, your front toe. Uh, well, not really toe, but your front kick up, your front um, arm height and your front arm width. And then the same thing in the back. So you have your C and D mounts back here and that does allows you to do the same. So you can change those pills out and that will allow you to change your toe. Um, and then your arm width, arm height, all the stuff that you can do on, say, like a uh, like a low C uh, TLR 8X. And then uh, the thing that really stands out to me are the shocks. So these are the TLR tuned aluminum shocks, and uh, they're black, which I think is pretty rad. Um, the standard coating is kind of that light gray, but these are black. I think they look really cool. So not only are they functional and strong because they're made out of metal, but uh, they're black. Now, here's another couple of uh, cool things that, uh, that stand out to me. Um, so the low C car, the 8X is a C hub car, right? And the Typhon, which I have seen a few of our guys take down to our off-road track and uh, use it, say on a family Friday off-road. Um, we kind of have this open class thing. But even in e-buggy, I've seen a couple guys slap on good tires, and just like that, the Typhon kind of turns into a race car. You kind of have an option here. You, you've got a pillow ball car, right? So traditionally, a C-Hub car is going to be uh, um, a little bit harder to drive and have a little bit more steering, whereas a pillow ball car is going to be a little bit easier to drive and not necessarily have as much steering, right? So. Um, with all this cool stuff on here, the ability to make adjustments to your to your uh, arm width and height, and in the back to be able to change the toe, and in the front to be able to change the kick up and stuff. I mean, you could have a pretty competitive race car here. Um, so out of the box, you don't have to build anything. You just slap your good electronics in it. Let's say like a 2000 kV um, motor and a speaking controller of your choice, four cell battery, you've got yourself a pretty stout e-buggy to race. Um, just wanna show this off too, the etching on the bottom, uh, the TLR tuned chassis. Um, I, I would highly recommend putting a cover, a chassis cover on that so that doesn't get scraped away, just so that uh, it can keep looking cool, so. Okay, 
Uh, let's check what else is in the box. So you got yourself your uh, instruction manual. But I wanted to show you guys these little pieces in here. So, right there. That's all your tuning. So those are your pills. That's how you're able to change uh, everything with the blocks. And then, this is for the front. So you can do the same thing with your upper arm and your bottom arm, uh, uh, arm mounts. And then, you got wickers for your for your wing. So you can actually add, this is a TLR wing, and so you can actually add a wicker to that. If you add this wicker, air comes in, hits that, uh, provides even more downforce. They give you two different sizes, so you got a big one and a little one, or none at all, which is pretty rad. Just remember, more rear downforce, less steering, right? Stickers, instruction manual, uh, manual. We know nobody actually reads a manual, um, but it'll be nice to have when you have to actually go in and fix it. Uh, you'll be able to uh, see the breakdown and everything else. And then, of course, this is your motor mount. Slides right in there so you can get the proper thing. The only thing you'll have to do is get all your electronics, of course, and uh, pinion gear, and we're off and going. So there you go, unboxing of your Arma Typhon. Remember, it's Typhon. And uh, let's get racing out there. Yeah, let's do it.